Chief Kevin Ward is a veteran of the New York Police Department with vast experience. He's held a number of high-profile positions, sergeant, lieutenant, captain and now chief of staff. Police Department, we have 35,000 police officers and there's uh, police officers, sergeants, lieutenants, captains and then we have deputy inspectors, inspectors, you know, one-star chief, two-star chief, three-star chief, four-star chief. There's one four-star uh, chief, there's a, there's a first deputy commissioner which is four-star and then the police commissioner is five-star and there's 11 three-star chiefs uh, on the police department. Well, I came on in uh, 1984. I was in uh, Manhattan as a police officer, and I did uh, you know, patrol and then the plain clothes enforcement there. And I made sergeant uh, in, in five years with 80, you know, 1988, December of 88, I, I made sergeant. And then I, I was transferred to Brooklyn, which was a busy time, but it was, a, it was an exciting time to be a police officer. And I was uh, in plain clothes, anti-crime, and then I went up to the detective squad. That was probably the most interesting work I, I've done. And then uh, after that, uh, I was promoted to lieutenant in 96, and I uh, was assigned to the Internal Affairs Bureau. So I did uh, two years in Internal Affairs, and then uh, I came out of that. Right, right when I got out of that, I made captain, and I went back to uh, Midtown. After that, uh, I went to, back to uh, the Organized Crime Bureau, which is, uh, covers narcotics and gangs. And then uh, from there, I went to Staten Island, where I was the borough commander and then Queens where I was the borough, Queens South where I was the borough commander before coming here. Chief Ward comes from a family with a long tradition in the NYPD. His father, Captain Frank Ward, and brother, Captain Walter Ward, both served over 30 years. Chief Ward also said his father had a huge influence on his life. He says his father is ultimately the main reason he joined the police department. My father came on in 1952 and he retired in 82. He was in uh, the detective bureau a lot. He was a police officer in Manhattan, and then he went to the detective squad in Brooklyn, and then he was a, a lieutenant squad commander in Homicide, and then he retired as a, as a captain. But uh, he was you know, very connected to the police department, a lot of his friends, and uh, he passed it on to uh, myself and my brother. Chief Ward is also highly educated. He's earned a Juris Doctorate from New York Law School a Master of Public Administration degree from Harvard University and a Bachelor of Arts degree in Criminal Justice from John Jay College. You can be the best cop you, you want to be, but you can't rise up unless you get your education. Kevin Ward is now Chief of Staff to the Police Commissioner in the New York Police Department. His family roots are in Killybegs, Mount Charles and Inver, as he told Donegal TV. Uh, my grandparents, uh, Agnes and Patrick, were from Donegal. Uh, my grandmother was from just outside Killy Beggs and uh, my grandfather was outside at Mount Charles's. Chief Ward said his Donegal connections are very important to him and he reminisced about growing up in an Irish household. Uh, my father was very proud of his, uh, of his heritage and uh, he passed it on to uh, you know, uh, my brother and my sisters and myself. My friends always joke they all know all the Irish songs because my father would play it all the time in the house so they learned all, all the Irish uh, songs from being in my house when we were, when we were young and uh, you know it's interesting that a lot of you know uh, Irish Americans become police officers and firemen and, uh, and, and uh, a lot of military service also uh, it's kind of in the tradition of uh, the Irish people I guess to do service and uh, be in the military or uh, law enforcement in this country. One of the biggest tragedies ever to hit New York and the United States was the attack on the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. Every generation has a, a pivotal point in their uh, life. I guess for my parents it was basically, uh, you know, Pearl Harbor, you know, and uh, when you think of the attack on the Trade Center, more people died in, uh, in the Trade Center than died in Pearl Harbor. Um, so it really is a pivotal point in, uh, you know, our country's history and in the city's history, and it really changed the way we look at things. So uh, it's important that we realize, you know, uh, time sometimes can, uh, you know, soften what it was like, but if you were down there, uh, you know, the devastation was unbelievable and the loss of life was unbelievable. It looked like, you know, it looked like a, a bombed out city from, from World War II is what Lower Manhattan looked like, uh, you know, from the, the collapses of the buildings. So it's very important that we don't uh, forget what happened that day. Kevin Ward says he's truly honoured to be the Chief of Staff 
to Police Commissioner Bratton. Well, basically, uh, uh, Chief of Staff uh, Commissioner Bratton, and uh, kind of one of the main things is uh, some of his initiatives going forward, plans for the future. We have a re-engineering process going on. Commissioner Bratton was here in 1994, and basically, uh, when he was here the first time, he basically changed uh, policing within the department and subsequently changed it throughout the country through Comstat and basically saying that police can influence crime. I mean, prior to Commissioner Bratton, you know, a lot of criminologists said that police can only respond to crime and they can't reduce crime, that it's a, a social aspect, that it's, it's poverty and there's all sorts of social things that cause crime. And they said police cannot reduce crime. And he came in and said that's just not true. And uh, as a result, you know, that's where we started to, to reduce crime in the city. And it's kind of, as we said earlier, gone down to historic lows. And right now we're trying to uh, basically bring it to the next step forward. Um, I think there's still some crime reduction we could do, but it's going to be much more focused. Well, the city is so much different. I mean, in the 80s, there was, uh, you know, we, in the late 80s, we had 2,200 2, murders in New York City. And last year we had about 350. Now we have very small pockets of crime. So it's going to take a, a different type of focus on it. Instead of throwing a wide net, we have to kind of look at it as a laser beam. And I think he's going to do that. And, and the other thing is the one, uh, you know, a lot of the policies we put in place back in the 1990s, some of them over time had a little uh, collateral damage, so to speak, with uh, the communities that we serve. And even though crime has gone down, some of the communities in the city don't feel, uh, uh, they feel the benefits, but they don't feel uh, a connection to the police department. So one of Commissioner Bratton's uh, strong things is to really build, you know, uh, community relations like uh, nobody has in the past. Uh, so, you know, his belief is that we can bring crime lower, we can prevent terrorism, and we can basically build a bridge with the community. So we kind of, it's, it's weird now that we, crime is so low, but it, it should be, uh, police community relations should be at their pinnacle. And um, over the last year, with a, a couple of issues in, in New York City, with stop, question, and frisk being uh, probably the lightning rod issue, uh, that we're trying to build those bridges back. And I think we, we can do it. And I think in the next couple of years, you'll see a big change in that direction. Barry Weiss, Donegal TV, New York City.